This video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. You see, they approached me with a job, and like every job that comes across my desk, I said, I'll think about it. You see, sometimes people want to promote their products, and well, I'm just not that interested. That ain't saying they're bad products. All I'm saying is, I'm a busy guy. Then, the gravity of the situation hit me like a ton of bricks. This is more than just a job. This affects my heritage, my pride in my country. They're coming for the alcohol. Prohibition, they call it. Fancy men using fancy words to take away something they don't got nothing to do with. And normally, they get away with these kind of things. But this is where I draw the line. You don't, uh, no, you can't take away alcohol from an Irishman without a few kneecaps getting bust. So that's where we find ourselves. It's time to bust some kneecaps. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, you thought I meant in real life. No, jeez, Jacobs, no, 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 no. I'll be playing a game. You see, I'm a coward. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I've been having issues with my throat, so my voice keeps kind of messing up like that. But yeah, we're going to be playing Empire of Sin. Thank you to Paradox for the sponsor. There's a link in the description if you want to check out the game for yourself. Uh, but let's jump right in. Ah! Oh, yeah, sorry, I have earphones today. I can't do the headset snap. It doesn't really work with the hat. All right, here we are. Empire of Sin. I love the kind of aesthetic of these games. I really do. And I feel really immersed now because of the way I'm dressed. Yours. Milady. <laughs> I can finally do that with a fedora. My life is complete. Okay, so the person I'm playing is Dean O'Bannon, who was a bootlegger, I believe. Apparently at one point making about a million dollars a year on alcohol. He was part of the Northside mob until his death in 1924. Wait a second. Oh no, okay. Okay, no, it's fine. It's one o'clock. I still got a couple of hours left in me. <laughs> That's great. And this is true. He died on my birthday. Someone came and killed him on my birthday. I, I, it's not the greatest gift, but it's the thought that counts. You and me, we're gonna clean up this town. <laughs> yep, you and me, but I'm you. So you and you. Me and me, whichever you prefer. Part-time florist, full-time gangster. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Sounds like the worst Tinder bio I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, what troubles you, my son? Oh, I get to, uh, to pick my answers. We missed you at church last Sunday. Oh god, I missed church. Uh, is there something I can do to make up for it? Don't tell him I've missed every Sunday for the past five years. <laughs> I fear that we may not be able to put up the new roof next summer as we had hoped. And if it does go up, Sadly, we may have to skip out on the gold plating. Not the gold plating, father! Is there anything I can do? What do you need me to do? Quite simply, this lair must be destroyed, ripped clean from the earth, and soon! This priest isn't that peaceful. For the church? Oh, yeah, sure. I can kill for the church. Is there another way, father? No, no, <laughs> I'm all for it. Here. For your trouble. I can't take that, Father. The church needs it more than I do. No, no, thanks. Take it. Thank you. I mean, I need gold plating, too. It's not just the church. No, don't give me Al Capone quotes. Give me give me Irish mobster quotes, like call me Kevin. Give me a call me Kevin quote in there. Racket unlock, speakeasy. All right, it's time to sell alcohol and kill people. For, for the church, though, for the church. <laughs> the priest is looking out the window like, oh God, really? I asked this guy to do my bidding? Don't look left or right, Dean. It shows weakness. Thug occupied racket. All right, I can deal with some thugs. Attack. All right, I say we teach him a lesson with our first move. We'll use our special ability. Oh my god, what was that? That move was called Blasphemy. <laughs> and he just kind of exploded. Oh my god, there's so many of them against little old me. Keep coming one at a time, please. <laughs> and don't have guns. Oh no, he is a gun. I hope it's not 1924. Because <laughs> I think the writing's on the wall. I'm not sure what my gun is. It looks very similar to mine, except his doesn't have a trigger. <laughs> this is fake, by the way, so... All right. Just, just so you're aware. <laughs> Don't call the police on me. Dean, you're surrounded. <laughs> okay, I say we open fire on this dude. He seems like the best possibility. Oh my god, he just took the bullet. Please kill him this time. Oh no, <laughs> this is not looking good at all. No, Dean, he's behind you. <laughs> oh, he missed, thank god. Oh no, <laughs> no, Dean, he's behind you. Okay, he didn't miss. Oh my god, and they just shot me. <laughs> Alright, how about a melee attack with just your fists? Oh no, I attacked the wrong person! <laughs> I just ran into the open! <laughs> oh, what a legend though! <laughs> Even the sounds, I'm just like, dude, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> He's getting destroyed. Assholes. No, no plural. I, I came alone. Yeah, that's right. I'm that stupid. 
I'm dead. <laughs> I guess it was 1924 after all. Okay, this time... I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I have been buried four years prematurely. Ah, Mr. O'Banion. Good to see you again. Hey, you wouldn't have any of that sacramental wine, would you? That was actually legal, funnily enough, back in the Prohibition era. Never a better time to join the priesthood. <laughs> All right, Dean, this is it. This is the canon story. You want more pointers about how combat, combat. Works no, 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 no. A police officer. All right, blasphemy it is then. For the charge. Everyone get out. Out of the way <laughs> there's so many civilians between us i don't think that was a good idea but i got 73 bucks so not my worst idea i'm gonna enter my own speakeasy and take a look around maybe if i got drunk in my own speakeasy then i can withstand a few more bullets yes music <laughs> dean loves music what can i do for you just give me a drink now has the drunk tray perfect what does that give me <laughs> He's falling all over the place. All right, I'm gonna hire some mobsters as well because I kind of, I kind of need some help. You're my underboss immediately. The new person. Oh, I can't do that yet. <laughs> Probably for the best, <laughs> to be fair. All right, and I'm gonna buy a submachine gun to make it a little bit easier on myself. Okay, I'm gonna try and find this guy, George, because I, I want to recruit people because I clearly can't do this alone. This is pretty cool as well. Like if I pick this guy for example, he doesn't like these people. <laughs> the thumbs up or the middle finger. I love it. Oh, she loves the guy I hired. <laughs> You're drunk. Minus 25 marksmanship, minus one movement. Hopefully that wears off soon. <laughs> All right, Georgie. Boy, oh, <laughs> come on, help me out. <laughs> I'll get you a nice bouquet of pansies. There's trouble with the church, and there's a den of sin opening in the neighborhood. <laughs> a what? <laughs> a brothel. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know why I was talking like that. He says after he knocks some sense into my bartender, he'll be in. I'm not going to stick up for my staff. That's fine. <laughs> I'll meet you there. Can I get you to come with me as well? Add to group. You know what they say, three fedoras are better than one. All right, now that we're hiding behind the car. Wait, let's get my crewmate into a different position here, and I'll be over. Over here. Uh, stop beeping at me. I'm a mobster and you will be in big, big trouble. Now burst fire this dude. Yes. Yes. Good job. I love my new gun. Blasphemy time. Glash knock. Perfect. Now see here, see, we got you surrounded. Grover over here. Oh my God, Grover. <laughs> I just wanted to rough him up a bit. We can't even have an open casket after that. I'm just gonna go over and smack him. <laughs> He's one health. There you go. <laughs> That's it. I need a drink myself at this point, but not to worry. Because drinking alcohol wasn't illegal in Prohibition. It was, I believe, making it, transporting it, and selling it. So I'm fine. <laughs> Suddenly doesn't hurt so much anymore. Take him out, Grover. Yes! That was so successful, neither of us even got hit. Oh, I'm so good at fighting. And I found a shotgun. Oh, this is the best day ever. And now we'll go talk to, uh, what's his face? I don't know. Watch out! Hey, Georgie, I didn't forget your name at all. Let's get in there before they get away. I didn't know he was standing there, otherwise I could have used him too. But me and Grover proved our point. Oh no. Oh, there's someone right next to us. Hold on, Grover, where are you going? Open fire, Dean! <laughs> You did what I said, but you didn't hit him. <laughs> Grover over here is just amazing at what he does. I am so proud of Grover. And George is hitting over there. Okay, you're making me look a little bit bad now. <laughs> First fire. Watch out for friendly fire there, Dean. <laughs> oh, poor Grover. <laughs> Don't worry. Grover can handle himself. You get by with a little help from your friends. What would you think? Look at that shot. Okay, he redeemed himself. I got a cotton padded vest and a rifle. You've taken over derelict building. What'll I do? <laughs> Raise it. Just destroy it immediately. We can go in and smash up the place. <laughs> I think take over and we'll turn it into the father Higgins was annoyed that it was a brothel. What if I just make another brothel? Rename building. <laughs> I'm going to call it Higgins house. <laughs> I named it after the priest. <laughs> it's a brothel. <laughs> I don't think the priest's going to be happy. Where's George? Did he leave already? I need to talk to him. Why is there liquid? with everywhere. You know what? I won't even ask. Georgie, my bio. Good job in there. Father Higgins is gonna jump out of his frock when you tell him we took care of this place. Yep. Higgins' house has turned over a new leaf. Oh, the prosperity has changed from mediocre to bustling. I tell you, nothing changes up a neighborhood like changing a brothel into a slightly fancier brothel. Grover Monks has learned new talent. Oh, what have you learned now? I hope it's the ukulele, Grover. Killing a target grants you a free bonus move. Yes. Yes, I want that. Hey, Doug. What are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs> my accent keeps changing. <laughs> my guy's having a bit of an identity crisis. 
Oh my god, Dean, you really gotta work on that accuracy of yours, dude. It's getting embarrassing. Grover here has to keep finishing him off for you. The one thing he can do well is blasphemy. <laughs> it works really well. It's like a one-shot every time. I found some wizard oil. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. I learned a talent. Instead of dying now when I reach zero, I'm guaranteed to bleed out. I know it means time to, like, revive me, but honestly, it just sounds like guaranteeing myself a horrible death. Vacant buildings can be purchased and turned into rackets. Oh, I could just buy this one. Okay, that's a lot more money than I have. <laughs> I could make a hotel, but it needs synergy in the neighborhood. And I guess they don't like me. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> I don't know why they don't like me <laughs> as I push this woman down the street. <laughs> Where's Father Higgins? I love the map, by the way. It looks great. Look at this racket. He is going the greatest racket of all. That place is huge. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there he is just waiting for me. Yeah, that's dealt with. <laughs> Let's just not go into details, Father, for your own sake. <laughs> really for my sake, though. <laughs> with that vile establishment gone, our parishers will feel much safer on their way to church. Yeah, sure. Yes, two grand. Oh my god, where's he off to? <laughs> He's running to check out the new brothel, I think. Where is Grover? I can't fight without Grover. <laughs> Honestly, he should be the one in charge. Oh, I can rename him. I renamed him to Unnamed Henchman, just so he doesn't get too ahead of himself. <laughs> and this guy's a demolitionist. Oh my god, look at that outfit. We have the same fashion sense. <laughs> I mean, I wanted that outfit, but Paradox was saying maybe it's a bit unsuitable, so. Here I am. In a shirt, like a moron. We're just gonna call him Tiny. Come on, unnamed and tiny, let's get going. Oh no, I met a new faction. Oh, what the hell are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> All right, let's request a sit down. Buongiorno, Mr. Obey. How do they say that in Irish anyway? Uh, top of the morning or something like that. You got the wrong Irishman. That's Jack Sept the guy. Top of the morning, Jim. What I hear about Father Higgins. He ain't exactly the best influence on <laughs> someone like my brother. What, is it because of that uh, brothel he owns? Hagen's house? Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird for a priest, huh? I've heard enough of this shit. Let's just get down to business. My guy's being way more hostile than I want to be. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we can't help each other out. I imagine just a full-on band over to the right just playing this song as we're talking. I don't know what we're making a deal to. I think he's going to help me with men and I'm going to help him do up his speakeasies. I mean, I am a florist after all. <laughs> I know what to do with plants and whatnot. All right, I'm going to go to a nearby neighborhood and try and open a casino. Or at least attack a casino. <laughs> all right, we're in the casino. Now ambush, boys. Throw a bomb at him, Tiny. <laughs> this is so overkill. All right, he's dying. They're all in Overwatch just watching this hallway waiting. Here we go. Oh, yes! Good job, everyone! <laughs> Racket taking over. This is like Courtney's blood lords. <laughs> I've never even met these people. I just came in. I kind of want to take over it, but I also kind of want to just destroy the building. You know what? I got to see what it's like. Destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> so unnecessary. Come on, lads, across the street now. <laughs> hey, guys, we're the new band. <laughs> Tiny and the Tenors, they are called. <laughs> All right, ambush. Oh, no, there's a guy right next to us. I didn't see him. All right, burst fire him. Dean, you missed most of your shots, as always. What's new? Don't worry, you get another shot. No, you still missed. Uh, don't worry. Unnamed has got this. Fire. <laughs> Tiny has an arm on him. <laughs> Time for the blasphemy shot, Dean. Uh, look at this. Across the bar. <laughs> Yes, his accuracy with that is amazing. I'm going to take over this one. Change it into a casino, see? I'm going to call it Higgins Blackjack. They're all named after Father Higgins. <laughs> He's going to hate me. Look at this for a makeover. No wonder your man wanted my help with interior design. What was that? Did something fall down? We shouldn't have removed that supporting wall. They're learning such cool abilities. I'm going to open another brothel. I'm just buying this building. Higgins pad. <laughs> for Father Higgins. Mission complete. Brick by brick. All right, gentlemen you have had a fantastic day. Honestly, super productive. We did prove that friendship can solve everything because everything turned as soon as I relied on my friends. Good old unnamed and tiny. <laughs> but we are going to end it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Paradox, thank you so much for the sponsor. This game is a delight. As I said, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. I know I'll be playing more of this on my own time. I just love this kind of time period. Prohibition and all that is super interesting. It really is. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching as always, folks. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>